Hi, today I'd like to uh, demonstrate the uh, three cut method, method of squaring up the sliding table saw there in the cross cut fence that was taught to me by an Altendorf technician many, many moons ago when I worked for a, a large production facility back in the 90s. Um, this particular method is a lot less fussy, I find, than the five cut method. It requires no calculators. Um, and you don't necessarily have to guess on how much your adjustment needs to be, etc. It's, uh, it's fairly straightforward. I found that uh, I like working with a 4x4 panel. It's a lot easier than a 4x8. Uh, not as much room for error and yet plenty large enough for incredibly accurate results. So you just saw me cut a sheet in half and that's basically going to be cut number one, which is my reference cut. That, uh, that cut number one only needs to be done once. Uh, and that will become the uh, uh, that which I put against the fence from here henceforth. Um, and then the subsequent cuts, the different tests will already be cut two and cut three. And, um, and if I've uh, uh, done things right, if my cross cut fence is square, then that means uh, the measurement from sides two to three uh, at the top of the panel and at the bottom of the panel will be the same uh, if uh, my fence is square basically a parallel cut and, uh, and a nice thing I like about a 4x4 panel also is it's a pretty close to a one-to-one -one relationship as to how much you have to adjust your fence uh, depending on how much you're off uh, so uh, you know based on where the pivot point is and uh, where the uh, lock point is for the, uh, the cross cut fence so there we've just done cut number two and now we are going to flip the panel 180 degrees. The face is going to become the underside and uh, vice versa. And then we will do uh, cut number three um, and then take our measurements. I have found that um, it is easier to go to the closest sixteenth of an inch uh, on my uh, tape measure there on my cross cut fence. So I will set my flip stop to the nearest sixteenth uh, of an inch there so that when I read my tape, I'm reading to a line rather than somewhere in between. So the parallax is not, not nowhere near as great. So I'll walk around here and i set that flip stop. Uh, in this case, it's a fresh panel, simply probably about 47 and 7 eighths, I would say. Uh, I always like to trim enough that I'm burying my blade rather than uh, that way the dust collector actually collects the dust and rather shooting it off the side very hard there, like if you're just trimming uh, too close. So uh, we made cut number three, and now we're going to take our first measurements and see what we got, see how far we have to adjust our, uh, our slider. So I'm measuring at the top there, should have 47 and 7 eighths, and then I'll come down and measure the bottom and see what we got the difference. Now for demonstration purposes, I have purposely set my fence a little, a little bit farther out than would probably be normal uh, for a rig coming from a factory. Chances are if you're getting a slider, for the first time it's going to be a little closer than this obviously if you're buying a used one or it's been shipped around it could be this bad but i'm about an eighth of an inch out so i've got a trapezoid there and uh, so i'm going to take out my grandfather's trusty stair steel square frame and square and uh, it's the only one in his shop that was uh, didn't have nfg written on it so uh, that's the one i'm going to go with and i've used that square for years and uh, i put it up against any engineer square things dead on and I trust it. So anyway, I've, uh, I've set the slider to the edge, uh, set that squaring fence to the edge of the slider, not the blade group, because the slider is what you set things to. That's what's going past the blade group. And um, basically a parallel cut, but uh, all sliders are set anywhere from, you know, four to eight thousandths of an inch away from the back of the blade, uh, toe out, so that uh, you're not cutting twice on, on the panel. You know, just the downstroke is doing the cutting. So if I tried to set my square to the blade group, I, I would not get very square results. I, I set my squaring fence to the edge of the slider, square to the edge of the slider. So now we're redoing our, our cuts two and three, and uh, you know, see uh, how much closer we can get based on the, uh, the results of the first cut. Uh, one of the reasons you don't trust a corner-to-corner a, a -corner measurement on something like this uh, for square is that you can have a trapezoid and your corner to corner will say you've got um, both, you know, both are equal, but uh, the 
the slider is not, uh, the squaring fence is not square. So uh, that's why I measure at the top and the bottom and I'm looking for a parallel cut. Now I've flipped my panel again and uh, you can see why it's easier working with 4x4 here than a full 4x8 sheet too. Um, just from that perspective of uh, wrestling that around. So I'll eyeball it and then I'll go back over to my uh, flip stop and set it to the nearest uh, 16th of an inch. What I want to trim so that uh, again I can read my tape measure uh, onto a line on the tape. Rather, I, I like to set things to my naked eye. I mean, if, for woodworking, if, if I can get close enough to, to my naked eye, I can, can't see it, then you know that's really good enough for me. I mean, heck, wood will move uh, ten thousandths of an inch overnight if the humidity changes. So, what's the point of really trying to get to? Uh, uh, to machinist type uh, tolerances um, when you're working with wood. So now we're going to take my measurement again, uh, looking down at my tape. Uh, check, 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 check. Look, look, look. Am I on the inside of the line, outside, middle of the line? Uh, and I go with it. I uh, take my measure, I write it down, I'm going to stick with it. I come up the other end, measure there. And, uh, hey, hold on now, I'm on a slight angle there. Let's, let's back it up straight across. There we go. Uh, come down and mark it down and see what we got. And we're looking at 47 and 316, so both of them. So for me, that'd be good enough. Uh, but for, you know, a lot of guys out there like to uh, work in the thousands. And so uh, let's try to work in the thousands. We'll see how many thousands my old naked eye is off anymore. Um, I've got a simple aluminum uh, ruler there that I've put a stop on one end. It's just like a story stick and uh, left an arbitrary gap, which my uh, caliper then will measure the difference. And then I'll take it up to the other end and uh, we'll see how many thousandths of an inch, or hopefully not hundreds, uh, but how many thousandths of an inch my naked eye was off on uh, just reading my tape measure. and. Uh, any little slight parallax that might have been in there from from one end to the other with the different lighting conditions and, and exactly where I was holding my my head my eye so uh, get a set clamp her down so what we ultimately determined is that my old naked eye was off by about six thousandths of an inch and uh, in the real world that would be good enough for me I don't know that I could get any closer I mean I could I could maybe according to the test but I don't know that it'd be that much more accurate one way or the other just based on too many too many factors when you get down to this this uh, fine measurement but anyway I, I did try one more time I, I did one more series of cuts and uh, tried to make up that six thousandths and get it closer to zero and uh, in order to do that uh, measurement anyway I used a, uh, a dial a dial indicator there to try to uh, adjust my fence just that extra bit and what I ended up getting on the next one was two thousandths of an inch uh, so uh, you know what I, I can't get any closer than that and I, I could probably pretend and get to zero but eh, it's not gonna happen so that's good enough for me I'm gonna turn around here now and I'm gonna set my uh, my stop so that uh, every time I take my crosscut fence on and off it's uh, going to return to that uh, that zero setting every time reliably and then i will go ahead and uh, draw a pencil line on either side of my my crosscut fence there uh, so that as a visual security blanket let me know that i'm i'm good to go and uh, well there you have it i hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and uh, you learned a little something and until next time we'll, we'll see you then uh, bye bye